Good day to you. I'm Pastor Rose and welcome once again to Jesus, our healer. It is a beautiful time of the day wherein we encourage you by sharing to you some of God's promises regarding healing. To start with, let's read Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 40. Keep his decrees and commands which I am giving you today so that it may go well with you and your children after you, and that you may live long in the land the Lord your God gives you for all time. First Chronicles 29 verse 28, He died at a good old age, having enjoyed long life. Yes, God can bless you with long life, and not just long life, but an enjoyable long life. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 1 to 3, These are the commands, decrees and laws that the Lord your God directed to me to teach you to observe in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess so that you your children and their children after them may fear the Lord your God as long as you live by keeping all his decrees and commands that I give you and that you may enjoy long life in John chapter 10 verse 10 the thief comes to steal kill and destroy i have come that they may have life and have it to the full beloved brothers and sisters these are the very words of jesus jesus came so that you will have life and have it to the full right now we want to pray for some of you who have covid 19. maybe you are here and you are so anxious you don't know what's happening in your life right now. You don't know what's happening in your body. And some of you, you're even having a hard time to breathe. We want to pray that that power of the COVID-19 in your body will be broken off and the power of the Holy Spirit to heal you will just flow from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Let's start by praying in tongues. Yondo koro rosondra shika da sandia. Yanda kara rasandra shika da sandia. Yondo koro rosondra shika da sandia. Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, because you are our healer. And that by your wounds, O oh God, we have been healed in Jesus' name. That the, that the power of the cross, O oh God, is also to heal us, O oh God. Father, we ask, O oh God, for your people with COVID-19 right now. Lord, let the power of that COVID-19 be broken off in their bodies. And let the power of the Holy Spirit flow upon their bodies, O oh God. Your gift of healing, O oh God your gifts of healing to flow in their bodies father we ask in jesus name for some of them who are having a hard time to breathe god let that oxygen level be normal some of them god they're waiting for swab test result lord this time in jesus name it will be negative some of them lord the result of the x-ray says they have problems in their lungs God, we ask in Jesus' name, touch their lungs, O God. Lord, wherever your people are, O God, even though they are alone in that quarantine facility or in the house, O God, or in ICU, we know, God, that they are never alone in Jesus' name. Because, Lord, the truth is you are with them. Lord, right now, visit them wherever they are and let your healing flow in their bodies Wash away the fear in their hearts, O God, and wash away that COVID-19 in their bodies. Thank you, Lord, that you will heal them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. At this time, we just want to continue to sing in the Spirit and believe that as we do so, God is working in us and healing us completely. Let's lift our voices before the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus.
Amen. Let's continue to read the promises of God regarding healing. In Psalm 103, verse 2 to 5, Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns your love with compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. In Psalm 91, verse 15 to 16, and for sure, a lot of you have memorized these verses already. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now let's pray for our beloved frontliners that Psalm 91 will be a reality in their lives. If you are here and you are a frontliner, I want you to lay your hands on yourself. Or if you are here and you know someone who is a frontliner, as we pray, mention their names to our Lord Jesus. Join us right now in prayer. Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, that as we come to your presence, O oh God, there is healing in your presence. There is power in your name. Father, right now, we pray for our beloved frontliners. We are so thankful for their service. We are so thankful for their lives. And we ask, oh God, that every day as they work, as they report for work, God, let your wings of protection be upon them. Lord, we thank you that you will deliver them, that this deadly pestilence will not come near our beloved frontliners. Father, we ask in Jesus' name also, if they are sick in their bodies, Lord, let your healing flow from the top of their heads to the sole of their feet. And everyone else, O oh God, who are joining us right now and they are sick in their bodies, we believe, O oh God, whatever sickness, O oh God, that is, you can heal them. So, Father, we thank you for restoring our beloved frontliners to health and causing them to be protected from this COVID-19. We thank you that healing is flowing in the bodies of your people right now. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. At this time, I want to encourage you to join us once again in this beautiful time of worship as we sing this song, Touch Me Once Again. Presence, my 
When we are touched by the Lord, we can receive healing and miracles. So we believe that even right now, God is already healing you. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that tomorrow you're going to join us once again, 7.30 a.m. We are looking forward to see you tomorrow. God bless you and have a great day. Jesus, our healer. Jesus, our healer.